So I'm not here to judge you for what you believe or what you don't believe in. It's decision time. It's time to make some decisions. Hi everyone, I am your economic friend. Welcome back to another one of my episodes here on Economic Friend. Last night I was watching uh, some interviews. I watched an interview uh, done by Tucker Carlson on Fox News. He interviewed our good old friend Peter Schiff. And Michelle McCory from Kitco News interviewed uh, Gerald Salente. Both of these interviews were very, very, very similar. Of course, two separate individuals with two different uh, insights, but they both uh, were exposing how the numbers that are coming back are dishonest to compare uh, to 1982. They're saying that the, uh, the economy is in worse state then we have been led on to believe. And now all of us, most of us know this already. We know that the markets have been manipulated for a very long time. We know that, the, that corruption is at its finest. So after listening to their both of their interviews, they're very much in line with a lot of what a lot of us have already known, what a lot of us are already been saying. Thankfully, those two have the platform and they're able to say it like it is and be honest and share with the general public around the world as to what is going on with our economy. So I started doing some thinking. You know, there, there's lots of talks about uh, drag inflation, inflation, deflation, hyperinflation. You know, nobody knows when and what and how. All we do know is that the, the economy and the U.S. dollar is completely covered in band-aids to the point where you can't even see it anymore. Nobody can see the economy for what it is because it's impossible to see what it is because like I said it's complete it's literally covered in band-aids this is I mean, it, the, the, our economy and the state of our US dollar is in such shambles to the point where we really can't even analyze for what it really is and where it's really at and where it's headed and where it's going as long as the feds continue to print more and more money there's no telling how much longer the can can continue to be kicked down the road and, and make things appear healthy and and make things appear like everything is business as usual. Well, there's no denying business has been usual for, for many years, and that's why we're in this big, huge bubble that's about to burst. So I wanted to share a thought that I had with you uh, was I'm watching and listening to these interviews that both Peter Schiff and uh, uh, Gerald Salente had this evening. And, you know, I'm holding a generic round here, the Sunshine Mint, uh, this is one ounce, one troy ounce of silver. It's fine silver. I believe it's uh, three nines. Yeah, 999 fine silver. This is a beautiful round. One of my favorites. Now, here's my thought that I want to share with you guys. Now, there's a lot of talk about where the silver and gold prices are going, where they could go, where they should go, where they're going to go or not. Everyone has their feelings. Everyone has their prediction. You know, there's a lot of anxiety going around. There's a lot of people holding back, you know, ah, maybe it's going to go down. Maybe I shouldn't buy now. Maybe there is a squeeze. Maybe there's not a squeeze. Maybe there's a shortage. Maybe there's not a shortage. It's all a bunch of noise. It's a distraction. So here's, here's the point I'm going to make right now. Okay. Let's say we were getting into our time machine here. Now let's, let's just say this is all hypothetical thinking, of course, because I don't have a crystal ball. I really don't have a time machine, but let's say February of 2022. That's right. We're talking two months from now. Let's say I could buy this generic round for $19. Come in April, two months later, let's say April, 2022. Let's say I could get the same exact generic round for $15. Well, that's $4 less. Did I pay too much for this in February of 2022 when I could have bought this in April of 2022 for $4 less? Did I, did I lose? No. No, I did not lose. And here's why. I'm going to explain to you guys why I did not pay too much for this in February when I bought this for $19. Now, of course, keep in mind, I'm talking about the future, right? Two months from now. The reason why I didn't pay too much for this is because it was more that I had in February of 2022 than I had in December of 2021. So therefore, when I buy this in February 
It's going to make me more relevant. It's going to make me stronger. It's going to make me more powerful. It's going to preserve my wealth. I am strengthening my personal banking system by buying this two months from now during the month of February of 2022. If I do not buy this in February of 2022 and I wait to buy this in in April, two months later of 2022, well, this is this much less than I had in February of 2022. Now, I know what some of you think. Some of you are probably thinking, man, economic friend, man, he has lost his mind. Let me explain what I mean by this. We do not know when the S is going to hit the fan. We do not know when the market is going to crash. But what if there was an invasion by another outside source? What if there was a domestic terrorist attack within? Guys, there's so many different scenarios. There's so many things that can happen. Having this today, having this now, rather than worrying about knowing or feeling or thinking that, you know, hey, there's a chance I could pay less for this in April of 22 as opposed to buying it now. I always say in all my videos, buy responsibly. Do not buy more than what you can just forget about and just put away. This is long-term investment. This is insurance. And the more you have today is going to be more than if you didn't have it tomorrow. Do not get so hung up on the spot price. The spot price is, is practically getting to the point where it's irrelevant. We, we know that the markets are manipulated. We know that there's going to be a reset. We know that there's going to be a correction. The, the charts, the pricing system that the banks control based on the uh, futures market and with what's going on with the news, the economy, things are not as well as they say they are. And Peter Schiff, uh, Gerald uh, Salente, and I understand that, that both of them, especially Peter Schiff, has been predicting uh, this crash for, for a very long time, but he can't control the fact that the feds continue to print money and they continue to kick the can down the road that they keep adding more and more Band-Aids to the economy to keep things looking propped and, and keep things looking well. I've shared in previous videos that I feel that 2022 is going to be the year for silver and gold. I, I don't think they're going to shoot to the moon, but I know I've given uh, some, some th thoughts and feelings on the spot price. But if you go further back, I've been talking for a very long time on my other videos about how I don't care about the price. It doesn't matter, guys. I, I really do believe that it's a distraction. And the distraction only causes hesitation. And the distraction only causes anxiety, which causes hesitation, which causes someone to think, you know, I, I don't know, maybe now is not a good time to get it. I, maybe I'll just wait. I personally don't feel like that there is a silver shortage. I don't personally feel that there are reasons to be buying silver, such as, oh, you know, they Tesla needs it. Uh, electrical cars need it. Uh, manufacturers of uh, of solar panels, they need our silver. So therefore, the demand of silver is going to go up. And so therefore, that's the reason why spot price is going to go up. Guys, I believe that these are all distractions. Uh, even talking, now history does repeat itself, but there's been a lot of talks about even concerns and fears about confiscation. I have did a video on that. I don't see that happening. And I, I give my reasons as to why I don't see that happening. Uh, go back and find that video, or maybe I'll put a, a link uh, on in the, in the description below. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to get the best deal today. I, I find the thrill in shopping around, uh, talking to people, asking questions, getting to know my local coin shop dealers and others around. And I, I, I enjoy the thrill of getting the best deal today. But regardless of the price, that's not going to stop me from continuing to stack. And I don't think it should stop you or hesitate you from making that decision and stacking as well. Do not overbuy. Do not you know, I always say buy responsibly. Don't buy something that you're going to need that money back to pay some bills to provide for yourself or for your family uh, in a week or in a couple months. This is not a short term investment. This is a long term investment. This is insurance. This is a preservation of your wealth. This is the only reason why you should be stacking precious metals, gold and silver. I don't think that this is the right type of an investment to be making for short term Beware, be careful. But with all this said, just remember, as I state in all of my descriptions and all of my videos, I am not a, a, a professional financial advisor. Guys, this is all coming from my gut feeling. Now, of course, a lot of this is gathered from experts like Peter Schiff and, uh, and Gerald Solante and, and many others. This is my personal experience. 
These are my personal actions. These are my choices that I'm making, and I'm just sharing them with you guys for entertainment purposes. But as what I'm doing is I'm, I'm continuing to buy what I can when I can. I've shared with you guys in the past, I do have a budget that I try to live by. You know, I've, I've got a family to provide for. I've got bills to pay. I have other investments that I'm, I'm always dealing with as well, other projects. So, But I am always buying responsibly. I'm only tacking away what I can forget about. That's what I am doing. So take that for what it's worth to you. But I wouldn't get so much in how much this is going to cost in February of next year or April of next year because it's all going to be worth the same when you need it to either barter with or when it's the means for real money for, for, for purchasing power. Whether that be uh, during the year of 2023, the year of 2030, or the year of 2100. It doesn't matter whether you buy it today, February, April, at whatever price, it doesn't matter how much you paid for it. You just got to have it because the more you have it for when you're going to need it, the better off you're going to be for the more that you have. I hope that makes sense, guys. I hope you can see and understand the big picture of what I'm saying here. Guys, everything else is just noise and distractions. Be careful who you listen to. Make decisions on what you feel is right. Hey, if you need to pray about it, if you want to pray to God about it, get down on your knees and pray. Ask God to, to give you a, a feeling of whether you should be buying this stuff or not. Or just go along with your gut feeling. If you don't believe in God, that's fine too. I'm not here to judge you for what you believe or what you don't believe in. But it, it's decision time. It's time to make some decisions. You, you've spent time gathering what other people are saying. You've been listening to others. Now it's time for meditation. It's time to go find that quiet place of yours. It's time to start making some decisions, you know, as Peter Schiff and what Gerald Solante are saying. And that is that, you know, a crash is near and we, we've got to get the stuff. I don't think there's a need for panic. I've always said there's no need for panic. I think we've got time, but how much time do we have? I don't know. Just go about business as usual. Continue to do your jobs. Continue to take care of your family. Continue to to uh, pay more attention to your health. Continue to do things that you've been doing. Always maintain the innocence with your children and with your spouses. Like I've said in previous videos, not all spouses can handle uh, reality. Sometimes we just have to help preserve the innocence of others. Just do the best you can. Be strong. You are the rock of your family. And you know what? Your family, your community, and even yourself, everyone is counting on you to make the right decision and to take action. I love all you guys. I'm grateful for all of your support here. If you haven't yet, be sure to pass this on. Uh, share this message, whether you want to share it yourself or if you want to go ahead and share this video to a family member or a friend or a neighbor, pass on this information. There's a lot of good information. There's a lot of good videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like this video. It'll help this community to grow. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for your support. I'll see you guys in my next video.